Hey everyone. Um, you know, there's so much buzz around open source AI lately, especially with models like DeepSeek R1 kind of making a splash. But honestly, the word open, well, it feels like it's losing some of its meaning, you know. Just because you can use a model doesn't mean you actually know how it was made. Like what data did they use? What was their process? Often that stuff is kept under wraps. And that's where Umi comes in. This is a platform created by some folks who used to work at Google and Apple. And it's backed by like 13 universities. And their whole goal, it's really ambitious. They want to change what open really means. When we talk about AI, they call it unconditionally open source AI. A pretty bold statement. For, it's about going way beyond just letting people use the model. It's like, um, okay, think about it this way. Imagine you're learning to cook something new. Sure, you could watch someone else do it. But wouldn't it be so much better if you had the whole recipe? You know all the ingredients, why they chose those. And you can see exactly what they're doing each step of the way. That's the kind of transparency Umi is going for. Complete access. The code, the weights, the training data, everything. They want to give people the power, not just to use AI, but to really get it and even contribute to how it's developed. And that's where things get really interesting. One of Umi's core principles is this idea that to do really collaborative research and development in AI, you need this radical level of openness. They argue that the way things are done now you know, all siloed even within big tech companies. It's actually holding us back. So what's their solution? Distributed computing. They're challenging this assumption that you need to spend billions of dollars on all this infrastructure just to create powerful AI models. They think we can do it differently. Imagine a global network of universities and research labs all pooling their resources together to get similar or even better results. This is a direct challenge to companies like OpenAI who are putting tons of money into these massive data centers. Umi's basically saying, hey, there's another way, maybe even a better way. So let's get a little more technical for a second. One of the ways Umi makes this distributed approach work is by using something called LLM judges. These are actually AI models themselves, but they're trained to evaluate data and pick out the really high quality stuff to use for training other AIs. It's kind of like having a team of expert curators going through mountains of information to find the best pieces for your project. And when you're ready to actually use these models, Umi has integrated some really advanced inference engines like VLLM and SGLang. These engines are designed to optimize performance so your models run smoothly and efficiently, even across a distributed system. So what does this all mean practically? Imagine you're a researcher at a smaller university and you have this amazing idea for a new AI application, but you don't have the resources to build it yourself. With Umi, you suddenly have access to the tools, the data, the computing power, everything you need to make your idea a reality and without going broke. And it's not just for individual researchers. Umi's platform could help whole communities to work together on AI projects, sharing their knowledge code and data. And that would speed up innovation like crazy. It's this vision of AI development that's more open, more accessible, collaborative than anything we've seen before. The question is, can they actually pull it off? We'll dig into that more the next part of our exploration of Umi. I mean, let's be honest, taking on the big players in AI, that's, that's a huge challenge. These companies have basically unlimited resources, right? But there's an energy around UMI, this real sense of purpose. And it's not just about making AI open just because. The people behind UMI really believe that this approach, this open way of doing things can actually lead to better AI models, more innovative AI. And it makes sense when you think about it. When more people can see the code, when more people are experimenting and working together, you're way more likely to find those breakthrough solutions and you're more likely to catch problems early on. It's like, um, it's like trying to solve a really hard puzzle by yourself versus having a whole room full of smart people helping you. And one of the things I really like about Umi is that they made it really user-friendly. You don't have to be like a coding genius to use it. They've taken care of all the complicated stuff behind the scenes. So you can focus on the creative part, designing your AI models, training them, deploying them. And they support a ton of different models too, from smaller ones with just a few million parameters to huge ones with billions. So you have a lot of flexibility. You can find the perfect model for whatever you're working on. And remember, accessibility is key here. You can start small, maybe just tinkering around on your own laptop. And then as your project grows, you can easily scale up to more powerful computers. It's a system that can grow with you. And another thing that really impressed me is how much emphasis they put on data quality. They have all these built-in tools to help you synthesize and curate really good data. And good data is crucial if you want to train AI models that actually work well. Remember those LLM judges we talked about earlier? They're a big part of this. They act like intelligent filters, sorting through all the data and picking out the best stuff for your project. It's AI being used to build better AI. It's pretty cool. And then when you're ready to actually use your model, 
Unum, as you covered there too. They've integrated those advanced inference engines of ELLM and SGLang we mentioned before. So your models will run smoothly and efficiently. You can go from just an idea in your head to a fully functional AI application, all within the UNI ecosystem. Now, this whole distributed computing approach, this idea of using a network of computers instead of one giant data center, it's a pretty radical shift from how things are usually done. UMI is challenging this assumption that you need to spend billions of dollars on infrastructure. If you want to make real progress in AI, imagine a future where any university, any research lab, even just a group of people who are passionate about AI could contribute to cutting edge research. But that's the vision UMI is trying to create. Of course, there are challenges. It's not easy to coordinate a huge network of computers, and you have to make sure the data is secure and private. And the whole system is just inherently complex. But the team behind UMI, they seem really confident. They have the technical skills. They have the support of top universities. This commitment to openness, transparency, collaboration, it's a real shift away from those closed proprietary models that have been so dominant in AI for so long. It is shift towards a more democratic and inclusive way of developing AI one that recognizes how important it is to have different perspectives and to share knowledge. So as we wrap up our look at UMI, I want to leave you with this thought. What if this is just the start? What if UMI's success leads to a whole wave of new open source AI projects, new initiatives, new communities? What if this sparks a movement that completely changes how we develop and interact with AI, making it more accessible, more equitable, more beneficial for everyone? It's a possibility that's both exciting and inspiring. And it's a future that we can all help create.